And the stretch that we're going to be working on today is a pretty deep hip and IT band stretch called double pigeon or ankle to knee. And you may need one or two blocks. You may also perhaps use uh, a towel or a blanket if you have those available. And you're going to begin by sitting nice and grounded on a stable um, mat or on the ground. You may even sit on a block if the low back is rounding too much. And you're going to stretch your legs in front of you and give your legs a moment to lengthen, give your hamstrings a moment to uh, open up. And you're going to stack your right ankle above your left knee and you're going to do the same with your left. So it's going to look like this, like two logs, okay? Flex your feet energetically to protect your knees and set yourself up so that your sit bones feel nice and grounded. And notice how my right knee, which for you is the left, you're going to, uh, you see a little bit of a gap. This just indicates that I have a pretty tight hip, which I do. If that is happening to you, you're going to bring a block under your right knee to help you facilitate a more stable environment. You're gonna take a nice deep inhale, lengthening the spine, and you're gonna exhale and fold. Okay, and you're going to fold for five full breaths. Every inhale and exhale will help you get a little bit deeper. Okay, this is a pretty intense stretch, so make sure that you're doing this stretch while uh, you are warm, so perhaps after your run. And after you're done with your five breaths, slowly coming up to sit. And once again, just lengthening the legs, giving your legs a little bit of a shake, and then just switching sides. So bringing your left ankle over your right, flexing your feet, using your block as needed. Every side is gonna feel different, so just taking a moment to set yourself up comfortably, and then breathing in, lengthening the spine, and as you exhale, folding deeply. Taking five breaths on each side to keep things nice and balanced, and then taking a moment to stretch your legs out after you're done. 